Columbia, South Carolina with the number one team in the nation. South Carolina is undefeated. They have... And Mississippi State will hustle all over to get the Cox to get out and transition. Debris Chapeau back over to Aaron Barnum, who transferred in from Arkansas. Three seconds from the free throw line. It's out in the recent. This is South Carolina's starting five this year. Maybe the biggest surprise in this starting lineup has been Chloe Kitts as she takes the shot. Had injuries in and out throughout the season. They're feeling pretty good right now, though, about the lineup they've got. Lauren Park Lane with the putback. One of the like Cardoso down low. And Cardoso misses that shot, but the chemistry between Chloe Kitts and Cardoso has been so important this season, and they'll get a carrying call. Well, and it's not just Pow Pow. Raven Johnson, Bree Hall can shoot it as well. Okay, I know you love the inside game. Are, oh, you, I do. are you okay with the outside coming in? Well, be so Kayla Jordan swings it over to Poe. She'll get the screen from Aaron Barnum and Debrisha Poe with the three. I like these in, but now she's that swing player. She can play the three and she's got the strength to play inside. Uh oh, Lauren Park Lane, LPL special. Miss See how intentional Mississippi State is with those passes. They want to be extra secure with the basketball. Jessica Carter for so and Kitts. Kitts not able to finish. Lauren uh -huh. Park Lane, feeding to Kayla Jordan. Bree Hall to the elbow. Camilla Cardoso there on cleanup duty, banks it in. That's just what's so tough. Didn't want to let this get out of control, and he would call timeouts if he needed to. He hasn't so far. Hasn't had to. They're up one. They got to shoot, though. And again, Jessica Carter for Lina, as the opposing coach. You got to really coach this game in segments, five minutes at a time. All kinds of traffic. It's getting louder in CLA. Lauren Park Lane over the defense. What is so Kayla Jordan is all over Pow Pow. Raven Johnson going in and she's fouled with five. Presence, man, she had six block shots against Florida. Mississippi State though with an early lead. Darion Rogers building with his players. You can tell with how well he can talk to them and they really get the message. Sanaya Fagan is a block. She likes the physicality. She can do work inside. Talking about 24 in Maroon. Aaron Barnum waiting for the Look defense to go by. There goes Montague. Music said half a star from Mississippi's delivered the same message. Yeah. <laughs> message received. Bree Hall pulling up and that looks pretty. Yeah. Raven Johnson will push pace. Watkins coming down by herself. Kayla Jordan to inbound, finds Barnum. And Jordan gets a layup. Going Ole Miss, Ole Miss is holding teams to 52.4 points per game. We mentioned Angel Reese, but Anissa Morrow, she's coming off 25 points on third. Tessa Johnson to the free throw line. She kind of goes under the defense. But she's got a shot packed in her pocket. Bree Hall, watch out! Has stepped into her starting role and done it with a bang. Tahina Pow Pow on the defense, her first shot of the game. And it's last five shots. Miracle Shepard. Spinning around Kitts, finishing through contact. It was almost a turnover by Shepard. Nine seconds, Lauren Park Lane. And they get her for carrying. One for two for Cardoso, six seconds left in the quarter. Park Lane. Short on the three. Teams, what does she do after hitting that game winner against, Mississippi, against Michigan State? but play Rutgers and go out and get a triple-double. Naturally, what else would she do? That's just a, another day in the life of Caitlin Clark. Her usage rate is higher than any other player. They're using her about 40% of the time.
Well, she's got to do a little bit more. No more Monica Zanano. Right. So, but she has really embraced that role. She can distribute it when she needs to, but points. This is a South Carolina team that averages 17 second chance points a game. Does nice. it Johnson to the rack. But the other area at the end of that first. Carolina's the best rebounding team in the nation. Kids on the put back, and there's your second chance points. Now, Mississippi State balance, but at any given game, there can be somebody put on a show. We have not even seen Malaysia Full Wiley come in the game, the freshman that put on a show that first game non conference. Now the conference season is, has really arrived. It seems like things are starting to fall into place. Cardoso with the putback. Kayla Jordan trying to break down Raven Johnson gets the shot off, but too much. All over the calendar. I don't blame it. The kick out to Rogers. Carter on the block. And just a Carson. Letting this get into an up and down game. Well, he kits no. Ashlyn Watkins with the offensive board, but throws it away. All of Miracle Shepherd, you got to be excited about that. 10 seconds for the Gamecocks. Tahina Pow Pow! You got to get good shots because he doesn't really think his team would get second opportunities. So when they get those, you got to make them pay. Carter does get that for one half. of the first half. So he's called them early, like he told us that he would. There's that isolation. Back to Watkins. Cardoso waiting on the other side. Basket, now a two-minute scoring drought for South Carolina. And for Kayla Jordan. Park Lane, a little five on the side. That's what that play's supposed to look like. The takeaway, Jordan by herself. Back to back for Jerkayla Jordan. For Wiley, too much. Park Lane, while she's been on the bench with Sam Purcell, those two have constant communication going on during the game. And that ends the three plus minutes help. She'll pull up, turn around, and shoot. Woo, Watkins got up. Perfect vertical. And Don Staley mentioned to us the motor has clicked yeah. on for Ashlyn Watkins. She said it was questionable early on, but it's there now. Keeps hanging around. They got the takeaway. Pow Pow did a great job of slowing that. Layup, you got to go off two feet or you've got to pull it out and wait for your team to get down the floor. 90 seconds to go in the half. Weddings or graduations, but that unity is what she felt like she was getting here in Columbia. And she has brought that unity to the floor for South Carolina as she hit season average. Three seconds. And South Carolina's defense doesn't. Both teams shot the ball pretty well in the first half. South Carolina shooting 50% from the field. There's Jessica Carter. Pow Pow kicking out to Raven Johnson. Short in the corner, but Kitts by herself waiting, can't finish. Cardoso can. Carter, and then you can go to your 6'5 center. There's Carter, but she's matched up on Carter. In a position where either she doesn't have to go against her or she can go around her. Three hole to the three throw line. It's the second time that she's hesitated to take that three. This time, no hesitation, steps into it and bounces. Arkansas from three. If you're going to shoot it, shoot it. Chloe Kitts. You pow Pow by herself. Off to the left, but the offensive Carolina's players on the perimeter catch it. Their first eye is to go right there inside. Oh, so she's gonna she's gonna get you every time. Lauren Park Lane that ends a three-minute scoring. Kids looking inside, back she gets it back Ooh, from Cardoso. She got away with some steps. No, she did not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How about Vanderbilt? They won their first SEC game. Bree Hall is short, but another offensive rebound. Emily said, 
the next three months are going to be big for her growth. Look, that's the future of South Carolina basketball, those three. Early in their career can cause success in this program to live on. And in this lineup for South Carolina, you've really got two point guards out there with Tahina Pow Pow and Raven Johnson. And Pow Pow, of course, always wrinkled. She's always looking at areas where they can improve. That's a coach for the game. She's got a young team. Yeah. You know, so there's some, there's good, and then there's also youth that shows up. They're relatively young. Montague foul. It up. Rebound by Carter. Lauren Park Lane, the heave up ahead to Jerkayla Jordan in the transition bucket. Transition too much. There's Miracle Shepherd flying. Be able to be able to just say, look, it's over. This team is going to continue to compete. I think Mississippi State has another run in them. Does not get rattled. But how do you get back into a game against South Carolina? Force outside on the offensive end. There's a good take by Lauren Park Lane. South Carolina hasn't scored in two and a half minutes. Breezy. Point percentage as a team. Carter gets a shot off. Jaquela Jordan drops back. Now the biggest thing you got to get to the shooters. Got to cover Bree Hall. Don't let. She's always been known as a defender. The ability to drive to the basket, but now added that three. Yeah, she was patient in her development. That's key. Today's net, now in today's day and age with the transfer portal, or she could step behind it and hit the three. She's gonna throw it up to Carter. Still time for Shepard, swatted away. South Carolina has extended this lead here in the second half, and Camilla Cardoso in for the develop a dominating mentality on both sides of the floor. Does that necessarily happen as Ray learned from her? I think it definitely helped yeah. in playing with and against in practice every day. And seeing Leah Boston, the former player of the year, the WNBA rookie of the year this season. And she still has a hand in the success. Yeah. And Angel Reese. About Michaela Williams, too. I know you're oh big on Oh, my her. gosh, yeah. that freshman. Let me tell you, the freshman across the country over 3,000 points in high school. She is a Columbia, South Carolina native. But I think in the Sam Purcell way, as this team continues throughout the season, they're gonna continue. Just putting the pieces together. Oh, Tahina Pow Pow. Hello. Oh. I For the win. <laughs> For the win. Even Christy Thomas Scotty and Eric Reed put on the. <laughs> yeah. Just double doubles, both those two. Oh, Carter had a clear. Ooh. Oh. One of the top teams in the nation. Okay, you've got the you learn. You can't, as a coach, you can't put a young player in and they make one mistake. As long as it's Montague played, she played guard in high school. At 6'5", out on the perimeter, number 24, to sit down next to him. <laughs> he did it well, though, because he got you to Vanderbilt. She'll have a defensive plan, and the biggest thing is you got to slow down LSU. Tell you that both those coaches get a full workout in for 40 minutes. There's mom really helped them this she, season. She's got great hands. Uh oh. Uh, full Wiley. Uh oh. Free Hall short. Which this year. Jaw goes to coast. 
Jackson, not very tough team to deal with. Well, we talked a little bit about LSU, South Carolina playing them on January 25th as Jordan hits. They're fast. There, I think that UConn will also challenge to see if South Carolina can consistently. So Utsby, she's leading the team at a forward position in rebounds and assists. Just she had a trip. Now, this is a Mississippi State team. Have not seen them quit this entire game. To the NCAA playing game in the tournament. Now it's official. 49, 10 different players scored four in double figures.